Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the easiest and the shortest way to create um, attendance for our students. First, you need to be in a course like this. Um, maybe let's say uh, mine is demo two, but yours can be flexible blended learning or um, curriculum studies or anything else. So once you're there, you must have the editing rights. That's number one. So with the editing rights, or if you're a teacher, you can turn off and turn on editing. So when you turn on editing like that, the attendance normally is at the very topmost. So you'll come to the very topmost section and click add an activity or resource. This link will be available once you turn editing on. So I click there and add, uh, I will see resources and activities here. So under all, just look for attendance. It's the one in color. So I'll click on attendance. You can give your attendance the appropriate label and a name. And the, option, the description here is optional. So let me say, I can say maybe uh, Mr. Amima attendance. Once you do that, scroll down, save and display. Save and display. Now, up to this level, we have already created a blank attendance. We need to do two more things to ensure that our attendance is up and running. Number one, status set. Status set allows you to set up the settings of your uh, attendance. Let's click on it. Good. So now here, these are the options that your learners will see when they're coming to mark attendance. We have P for present, L for late, E for excuse, A for absent. We do not need all of this. So we need to delete um, late and ex excused so that we remain with present and absent. To delete the two, on the far right, there's a, a bin here, like a recycle bin. So click delete and confirm. Again, I'm remaining with E for excuse, delete and confirm. Continue. Great, so I'm with two here, only present and act and absent. The points here, for present, the system will award two points, for absent, it will award zero. So let's reconfigure that to one point and this one zero. Okay, so that uh, the attendance register will be either one or zero. One for present is zero for absent. Then we need to make sure you select an option here. In case a student never logged in or never marked attendance, the system should automatically mark them as absent. Okay. So then come here, click update. So we are through with the status set. So now let's go and add the sessions. Click on the add session link. Good. So here you're going to add the time that the lesson will be. So let's say, I'm going to be having a lesson tomorrow. Tomorrow should be um, date 1st of October. So I'm going to pick here, date 1st, and month here, October 2022. The time, um, okay, tomorrow is on a Saturday. So let me pick on uh, Monday, will be on 5th. So I'm going to pick the fifth. Then the date, the time, maybe let's say 8 a.m. until 00, 00 seconds, until 10 a.m. 00, 00 seconds. A point to note is that the time here uses the military time, which is a 24 hour. So if you're talking about uh, 1 p.m., then you'll be talking about, uh, you'll be talking about uh, 13 00, 00 hours. So take note of that. So already I've done that. Make sure allow students to record an attendance is checked and then just click add. That's how simple you do it. We also need to put something into consideration. We have a timetable which repeats itself in a particular uniform or in a particular pattern. So in that case, just click multiple session. So let's say this class, we have it every Monday of the week. So I'm going to click repeat the session above as follows every Monday because already 50 is on Monday and it should be repeating every once a week. 
then you need to tell the system uh, when is the term ending? When should this attendance be repeating itself? So we're gonna have to maybe let's say November, uh, let me say just uh, November 30th. It should be able to be marked, maybe let's say 20th of November. So that it will mark itself until the November. Uh, it will create all these sessions from now, from Monday until uh, November or the 20th. That is all and click here, add. So you see on, on my attendance, there are many sessions. Monday, 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 10th of October, 17th of October, 24th, 31st, 7th of November, 14th of November. That is how you create attendance. From here, the students will be very comfortable to mark attendance and all will be well. So if I go back to the course, we go back to the course, uh, this is how the attendance will look like for the students. So when they come marking attendance, they will only see their name. So they can only mark their own attendance within that hour. So if we say the attendance should be between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., this is the only time within which the students will be able to mark attendance. Outside these time zones, they will not be able to mark attendance. So that is how we go about attendance. Thank you very much.